What's going on guys, this is Force or Faggot. So basically, in this video, I'm going to be talking about an, a website that I recently ran across and I got this through actually a friend of mine. A friend of mine recommended this to me and I just recently saw it on the Bungie.net they're actually, Bungie's giving recognition to this website and so I just had to talk about this because I feel that Destiny LFG needs to get more recognition, needs to get more people playing uh, on the website and using it. So let's go ahead and get right into what Bungie, or actually rather the community manager for Destiny LFG had to say about this. So I'm only going to be reading a couple paragraphs. I'm not going to go into the entire article. If you want to read the article by yourself on your own time, I'll leave a link to it in the description. So let's get right into this. So many of the challenges you might accept in Destiny are easier to overcome if you have a solid team to back you up for social gamers with a friends list that is bristles with guardians at the ready to assist them this is an academic lone wolves who have always ventured solo in the unknown find the completing a heroic strike or a raid a far more daunting task for the player who seeks fellow guardians for long moonlight walks in the vault of glass there is destiny lfg an acronym stands for looking for a group it's an old MMO jargon. Hope I pronounced that right. The servers as call to arms. Let's learn more about this element of online gaming and the influence of our shooting culture. Now, this is what the community manager of Destiny LFG states. Hi, Destiny community. My name is Brock Busby, owner slash creator of Destiny LFG, the leading community site to find groups to find... <laughs> to find groups to complete Destiny raids, Nightfalls, Weeklies, and more. Aside from being a huge Destiny fan, I'm also an avid gamer and prior world record holder for most air humps in one minute. That is pretty insane and impressive. Bungie does not observe that record. This guy is funny. He's really funny. If you go more into the article, he cracks more jokes. It's hilarious. So, his favorite thing to do is to play with friends and hop around, joking around, and doing the Vault of Glass. But the main thing he loves to do is doing the Vault of Glass and having people to, to do it with. Uh, his favorite weapon, well, rapper, his favorite weapon to use is the Icebreaker. And he goes more into it, and he goes to um, how he likes to use the service, and he's really appreciative on how you guys love the services. So... More on that in the description below. I'll go ahead and copy and paste the entire article in the description. Also, if you guys have if you have a phone and you guys don't want to read through all of that on the phone, you can go to the website where it's a little bit more it's better organized. So basically from the from my experience on this website, it's a pretty well rounded website. It's so specific in the website where it can even specify the location, the console you're playing on, and the character level that you're on, and what you're looking for in the raid or the weekly or whatever you're trying to do. So the website is actually greatly organized and it has a lot of detail to it. So this guy has put in a lot of work and of course he probably has a team that helps him with this, but this website is actually so professionally structured that it looks like it was made by Bungie themselves. It's actually pretty great. and. Just my experience with the website, it's a great website if you're looking for people to do the raid or the nightfall or the weekly or whatever you actually want to do, and it's a great way to find good players. Now, you will find the occasional suck phone players where they suck really bad and you don't even want to deal with them ever again. I have ran into that problem, but nine times out of ten I ran into really really well-rounded people who knew how to play Destiny who knew that jumping was a thing and they actually knew how to reload their weapons and they didn't just keep running into walls and getting themselves shot by Praetorians or something like that it's really ridiculous how I have to extreme like put that example to the extreme but honestly I've met people who were level 30s and had no idea what they were doing but like I said before nine times out of ten that does not happen so, the only gripe I have about this is that the people on there can get pretty butthurt if you have full spots. Now, for me, I'm a genuine nice guy. And if I will try to see first come, first serve, basically, because I'm usually always hosting the raid. If I need people to, if I need to find people on the Destiny LFG website, I will say we are, we're only looking for two more, three more, so on. And so, the first thing I gotta do is if 
five or more people respond to me, I have to inspect each person, which one would be, you know, more beneficial to the team. Now, I know that sounds pretty douchey and it sounds like selfish, but honestly, I'm only, I only raid on hard. And when you're doing the hard raid, you have to be specific on who's on your team. And I know it sounds really like, it sounds like I'm a jerk and I'm only looking for really good players, but honestly, Hard raid is on a whole different story. It's taking to it's take it takes destiny to a whole different level. It takes you as a person, your personality and your morals, everything you believe in, to the brink of basically tossing all that out the window when you're playing Destiny on hard mode or when you're playing the Vault of Glass on hard mode. But you know, I've got a team who we've been able to do it in a couple of good runs like i think three or four deaths are the most amount of deaths we can get but that's mostly due to the destiny lfg website because i have found players who were really good really well rounded players and we've been able to complete the vault of glass on hard mode many times and it's actually pretty satisfying and you know i highly recommend this website to anyone who's looking for players to beat any activities and if you're looking for players who match the same criteria you're looking for just specify it it's like doing a Facebook post. I don't know if you guys you still use Facebook, but if you do, you know, you can do a status. You can put whatever you want to say, right? In the Destiny LFG, you don't need to sign up or anything. You can put your PSN ID or your gamer tag right there, and you could just put level 30, looking for three more to do the Vault of Glass hard mode, and you can either say, if you have an Atheon checkpoint, you just put Atheon checkpoint or Gatekeeper checkpoint or whatever. And, you know... You, you'll have people bite, you know, the fishes start to bite. When you have Atheon checkpoint or Gatekeeper checkpoint, they start to bite and they'll tell you, yeah, I'm experienced, I have max weapons, I have Galahorn, you know, stuff like that. Stuff that people actually need. And then when people tell, the, tell you that they are experienced or they have max weapons and they're experienced and stuff like that, you, those are the kind of guys you want to look for. You can't look for a guy who just says, oh, I'm, are you still available? I'm ready. I can do this. You know, I always make sure, like, hey, what level are you? Are you what's your experience? You know, max weapons and stuff like that. At least they have to match one of those criteria, criteria you know. For you, your standards might not be as high as mine. Um, I don't think my standards are high enough, are high at that point where no one can join the group. Just, you know, it has to be at common ground, it has to be, like, you have to be able to hold your own, you know, a little bit, but, of course, we're all going to be holding our own because we're all level 30s and stuff like that, and that's not saying I don't accept level 30s, but, I mean, level 29s, but I'm just saying, like, I'd prefer a, a full group of 30s than, like, a full group of 29s, and I'm the only 30, but, um, for you, your standards might not be as high, and if, especially if you're looking to do the normal raid, if, the, if you're looking to do the normal raid with 29s because you need to get that raid gear, you know, by all means, go ahead and specify this, you know, and you can even choose what activity you're doing, and it will show right there, this person wants to do the normal raid, and you can even choose to put the post in its own s specific location, so they have, like, they have an overall post where you can post anything, everyone will see what you're posting, um, people will be like, oh, okay, he's doing the raid, I don't really need that, or you can actually specify the actual post where you want it to post at, and it'll show Vault of Glass, you know, and all those people will be looking for Vault of Glass, so you're always going to find someone to do it with, and that's why I wanted to make this video so the this can get you know more recognition you know i'm a small channel i'm a smaller channel dude so you know this is only going to be watched by 200 or so people but for other people maybe you you guys can share that with your friends and then those friends will share it with their their friends and that's how things grow on the internet when you don't have a real big fan base you can just have the you know i i know a guy who knows a guy type of thing you know so hopefully this video helped you out if you haven't already tried out destiny lfg go ahead and try that out you know whenever you guys can especially since crota uh crota's ends coming out in a couple more days that'll be extremely useful for that so if you guys don't have a full raid group you can always use the website and the website you are always guaranteed for someone to you know to join you so like i said before the only thing you gotta watch out for is be specific on what you're looking for um if you're a hardcore um raider you know you know what to ask for but if you're just casually you just want to walk through it casually you you just want to you know kind of explore the raid not really trying to finish it but trying to you know figure it out then go ahead and just ask for anybody and i'm i'm sure someone will come to you so as for me personally, I'm usually always hosting the raid group, but for someone else who just wants to find a raid group and they just want to be a help 
to the team they can also do that that's why that's why I really enjoy this website so if you guys enjoyed anything I had to say in this video forgive my stuttering problems I have my retainers in and it's a it's ridiculous to talk in them I hate <laughs> I hate these retainers I have to wear them for the rest of my life but hope you guys can pull up with that I know I sound really retarded right now I'm extremely tired it's one o'clock in the morning but I made this video for you guys so get spread the word about destiny LFG and leave a comment if you actually use LFG before if you've never heard of it let me know in the comment section below and have I spread the awareness level at a all-time high I'm gonna to try to see if I can get a lot of people to watch this because I really want people to know about this website so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you all in the next one yeah.